On August 29, 2002, Henry had, people casually call it a stroke, but it was actually an uh, basal artery dissection. To put it in a nutshell, he woke up from a coma and found himself completely paralyzed and mute. Make your feet as rigid as possible and lie on your hands and just stare at the ceiling. And that is pretty much Henry's world. This robot is bringing us from Palo Alto, California to the Kennedy Center in DC. And Henry can drive the robot everywhere. He says it's the next best thing to walking that he's ever done. One day Henry was in bed watching uh, the news and he saw Dr. Charlie Kemp with a PR2 robot. And he turned to me and said, why can't that robot be an extension of my body? Henry has used this robot to shave himself for the first time in 10 years. Henry loves Halloween and has always loved the kids coming. So he mentioned to them, I would love to hand out Halloween candy at the Stanford Shopping Center. So he did. What was so amazing to us was how the kids interacted with this robot. How they would wait. Some would wait for 20 minutes to get the candy. I mean, it was just astounding. As a child, I like to draw because it is a satisfying and effective way to express yourself. I am not sure I consider myself an artist, but that is not so important. What is important is learning to express yourself with confidence. Math and art are similar because they both require imagination and creativity. In order to be good at either one you have to think outside of the box and then express your creative thinking in a way which other people can understand and appreciate. My method is to keep trying different things until something works well. Don't view criticism as something to take personally, but rather as valuable feedback you can learn from. Don't ever give up. Creativity is a lot of work but it is very satisfying and very important.